Okay guys, I've got a new project. This was donated to me to make the super sand battery heater. This thing is 3 8 thick, solid freaking iron. I can't believe how, oh, it's just like unbelievably heavy. <laughs> okay, I had to, had to take a new direction. The local volunteer fireman, our neighbor, gave me this awesome antique iron three million pound bathtub. It must weigh 250 pounds. I know it does. I can't believe we got it in his truck. It's a seven foot long bathtub. He says they're kind of rare. So I've got to do my best on this one. I've come up with at least two to three thousand pounds of sand in my calculations. So I'm going to use three coils, three of the 240 volt heat elements that I've been using. But I'll only have two hooked up to two end ones probably uh, to start with and hope and if that covers it, then I, we may not, I might not need this one, but I have a feeling it's, it's a good chance I'm going to need this thing. <laughs> so it'll be in there. Um, concrete box to hold the thing in and it'll be insulation out here insulation underneath insulation up top i didn't draw all that then down in here or up top above the coils and these may be a little lower i'm going to put a steel plate that covers the sand and then run copper rods into the sand with copper plate there's another gentleman uh, on youtube using copper plate in the sand and bringing the heat up and running fans. It was really a unique little thing he's doing there. So the copper plate's good. I know about copper and aluminum and the welding department we used it as a sink, heat sink on the welding table. Anyway, so that should work with the copper inside of the vent, pulling the heat into the vent. The wind will come through here into my house. This is going to be the first actual home unit in theory. I already dismantled all the solar panels. Got Mr. Toasty out of here. I'm gonna completely remodel this. I'm completely dismantling this and then rebuilding it, all insulated for the sand house. Super sand battery. <laughs> 